Hi everyone, Chris from Stone Age Gamer here. Everybody's got their favorite controller. Unfortunately, you can't always use your favorite controller on your favorite console. Thankfully, we have this. This is one of a series of accessories from Brook called a Super Converter, and it allows you to use a number of controllers on the systems that they most definitely were not created for. Let's take a look. Okay, so what we have in front of us here is an array of super converters from Brook Accessories. Uh, so this is kind of what they come in, these little boxes here. This is the uh, super converter for PS3 to PS4 to Neo Geo. Uh, then we have this one, which is PS3 or PS4 to Mega Drive or PC Engine. And this one over here is Wii, Wii U, Switch, or PS4 to Switch and PS4, uh, which is pretty wild. Uh, and this is just a couple of them. There's more than this. These are just the ones that I have on hand to show off in the video. So uh, let's take a little bit of a closer look at a couple of these uh, just to show you what's in the box. Because actually the packaging's pretty well thought out. You got these little grabbers right here to pull out nice and easy. Ha ha. And then this is the super converter itself. Um, you can see this one's red. Uh, they come in a multitude of colors. Uh, you just plug your thing in here, plug your thing in there, uh, push button for synchronization, and you're pretty much good to go if you have any questions or anything. Uh, you've got these little um, uh, QR codes. Ha, huh, that's where it's hard that uh, allow you to check out the firmware, firmware updates or a user guide on how to how to use the thing if you've got any questions. And yes, they do come with stickers because uh, stickers are awesome so that's kind of the long and short of what these are uh, there's not a lot going on in the box because they they're pretty straightforward they do look like basic paths pass throughs but there is a little bit more to it because they also work as uh, wireless receivers if those are the kinds of controllers that you're using for example I plugged this into a uh, PlayStation 4 earlier and I played some Horizon Zero Dawn with my Wii U Pro controller which was weird but it worked so Anyway, let's take a little bit closer look on one of these things in action. All right, so what you can see here is I've got the uh, super converter here, and then we've got our uh, Genesis CDX here with a copy of Blaster Master 2, and we're gonna play that with this PlayStation 4 controller. So we're gonna crack this thing open out of the box, uh, pull out the contents, and this one does have one little extra bit. Uh, it has this extra wire in it. So here is this. Now, um, this is the one we mentioned before that works for uh, Sega Genesis or PC Engine. Now, if you have some sort of adapter to go PC Engine to TurboGrafx-16, that'll do the trick for you, but this is not the controller port for TurboGrafx-16. So out of the box, unfortunately, it's just PC Engine, not TurboGrafx-16. Uh, however, we are going to mess around with this on a Genesis, and we're going to use this cable right here. Uh, this little doohickey here uh, is basically just a little USB connector here, and we're going to use that to get uh, the PS3 and PS4 controller right into here. So let's go ahead and plug this little guy in here. And I always get this wrong. I always get USBs upside down. And then we're going to take uh, this black USB right here. And look at that, I got it wrong on the first try. And then we're going to plug this right into our Genesis. Out of the way, buddy. And there we go. Okay, so now we are ready to turn this on. Now, this pretty much automatically synchronizes. If you've got your controller plugged in like this, uh, let me try to get that a little better looking there. Okay, so here I am. Uh, we've got Blaster Master 2 up and running, and I just plugged this in, uh, no real setup beforehand, and I'm just gonna go right into the game, and look at that. We've got the plus button, uh, the start button, doing the trick. So let's uh, dive into a little Blaster Master 2, shall we? This game's not great. But I love Blaster Master, so what am I going to do? And here we go. You can see I am uh, pressing buttons, and they are doing all sorts of things that correspond to the game. And I am running around as Jason in Blaster Master 2 for the Sega Genesis. Whee! Yeah, that hurt. And yeah, there it is, in motion. All right, so this is pretty cool and all, but check this business out. It doubles as a dongle. That's right, it works wirelessly as well with your old uh, old systems. So, boom, look at that. Wireless, controlling with a PS4 controller on my Sega Genesis, playing the masterpiece that is Blaster Master 2. Isn't that awesome? And that's the long and the short of the Brook Super Converters. They're pretty darn cool. 
Brook Super Converters are available now at StoneAgeGamer.com in a multitude of flavors that allow you to use all manner of controllers on systems that have no business using those controllers. But hey, it's fun, right? <laughs> Thanks for watching, everybody. If you liked what you saw here today, please comment, like, subscribe, and let us know what you think of Brook Super Converters. If you've used one of them before, or if you just have any questions about how the thing works, let us know. We're always happy to hear from you. Thanks again for watching, everybody. On behalf of all of us here at Stone Age Gamer, keep playing games. I won't let the Carja Faithless stop me from enjoying the festival. What harm can they do now?